The most common symptom of colon and rectal cancer is rectal bleeding. In the overall context of rectal bleeding, however, the commonest causes are benign conditions of the anus, such as hemorrhoids or fissures. But the fact remains that because rectal bleeding is a symptom of colon and rectal cancer, it should never be assumed to be coming from something benign. It always needs to be checked out. We should always pay attention when we see rectal bleeding. Other symptoms of colon and rectal cancer really depend on their location in the large intestine. So cancers on the right side or high up in the colon, uh, the blood tends to be uh, mixed in with the stool so that we don't even see it. And so those cancers might present with anemia. So patients uh, notice that they're weak, uh, they have their blood count uh, checked and they're anemic. And one of the things that the doctor thinks about then is do they have a hidden cancer high up in the colon or rectum. Because the large intestine is narrower the further down you go, cancers in the lower colon can present with obstruction. So abdominal pain or cramps um, can be a sign of a colon cancer or a large polyp that's lower down in the, in the colon. Uh, irregular bowel habits, a change in your bowel habit that's um, semi-permanent. So it's very common to have changes in the bowel habit that last a day or two and we don't really worry about those. But something that lasts, something that's out of the usual but it doesn't get better by itself is a warning sign that means you should go and get your colon checked out.